In this module, we're gonna be going over dealing with the past and letting it go. Now, this is a very tough issue for a lot of people. Everybody's circumstances are different, but I'm here to tell you that if you've gone through this module this far, you know about my past, you know about some of the things that I've had to go through, some of the things that I've dealt with. I lost my father to suicide. I lost a relationship that I was in for seven years. That's your best friend. And that happened pretty much two months after the first uh, loss of my father. So they were like kind of back to back. There's been a lot of things as I've moved out here to Los Angeles, I've had to let go of another relationship that I was, I was really into, but there was something telling me to come out here and I did it and I had to let that relationship go. I've been through financial issues. I've just dealt with a lot of things that I've just had to go through and I've had to just let them make me into the person that I am and allow me to see those situations and better myself. So no matter what it is, like whether it's a conflict, an argument, a loss, whatever, the more time you spend on it today in this moment, the more you're taking away from you being able to grow into the person that you need to be for you growing into your future. If you're so stuck on that ex-boyfriend or girlfriend who broke up with you, at the end of the day, they probably moved on. They're going about their life. They're moving into their future. Why are you going to chase somebody who doesn't care about you, who doesn't want to be with you anymore? Why are you wasting your time on that? You should value yourself and love yourself more than that to know that that's not okay. And I know that's not something that's going to happen just next day. It's going to be a process for you to handle that. But I, I mean, the way that I really just dealt with it is I focused on myself. I focused on bettering myself. I stopped attaching my happiness to other people and to monetary things. I started to attach my happiness to myself becoming a better person every single day, whether that was challenging myself to, to put up a new weight in the gym or challenging myself to lower my body fat or challenging myself to run that extra mile or that extra minute. Always challenging myself, you know, getting a better position at work or striving to do something just better and to grow. And really that's the ultimate thing that's really helped me to just let go of things. Um, it's not to say I don't miss certain things. You know, you're always gonna have feelings. You're always going to have those feelings and, and just those feelings, you know, you're always gonna have them. They're not gonna go away. You know, it's like once you love somebody, you always really do love that person. Even if you do have to let go of that person, you still you still do care about that person. And again, that's not something that, that just goes away, but you know that they're not good for you at the end of the day. And you respect yourself and love yourself to let it go. So really, I mean, just letting go of the past, the best way to do it is to just focus on today, focus on yourself, focus on anything that you can do to challenge yourself to just be better than you were yesterday. We've all been there, we've you know woken up and you know we're dreading going to work because of a, a conflict at work or maybe your ex-girlfriend boyfriend works at the same job, etc. But you know if that's the case then you have to get a new job. That's kind of a you know, odd scenario to be in, but you know, just challenge yourself. That, that's really what I can say. Just challenge yourself to grow, keep pushing, keep striving, and just become a better you. I hope you guys enjoyed this module, and I'll see you in the next one.